Good morning, guys. Welcome to today where Gabby's leaving for school. We literally all come outside this early in the morning. Like, it is dark out still. And it has been raining four days. Even Molly comes out. Hey, Mal. The first day she followed the car, but now she gets it. But Gabby's leaving every day. Her girl is going. Goodbye, girlfriend. Have a good day. I don't know why I said that. She's not my girlfriend. He's Gracie outside. <coughs> oh Doesn't my gosh. Get locked up? The horses are covered. Doesn't she get locked up at night? In water. It is super wet. It's been raining for three days. It's raining now. Hi, the Gracie broke out somehow. We lock the we lock the babies up, like the small horses up at night because we don't want them outside. <coughs> eating all night long somehow she got out that one door sometimes is glitchy if you don't get it perfect no it's glitchy it's like roblox sophie says so we changed things up a little the last two nights we put the boy with a girl in heat and we put winston with his mama and sophie's just like they're exactly the same aren't they exactly the same the way they like stretch their necks out <coughs> They look crazy eyed. Crazy eyed looking. They're just like exactly the same, but they love each other. You love him, see? Like they both do the same thing. They have the same personality. Same personality, same loving goats. That's what made him so friendly though. Like He is not friendly at all. So anyways, we put him with her because is she being mean to you now? Everybody's doing good in the goat barn. I haven't brought you guys down for chores in the morning for a while. Everybody pees when they see me. They're like, oh, she's here, and then they pee. I think it's because they're excited that they're going outside. Okay, so things have changed, and she's being mean to him now, so that means she's not in heat anymore. I think I'm gonna just throw everybody back in their regular pens for today. I have been dying to wear this shirt. I got this shirt because this is what farmers wear. It doesn't suit me. I like it can't wear farm like cowgirl stuff like cowboy boots and cowboy hats. They don't look good on me. You look like a potato in this. I look like a potato in this. A rotten potato because <laughs> of the color. Well, anyways, it's warm and cozy, but hey, sticks to it like crazy. Every time we do chores, it's all just waiting on the pigs. The pigs take forever to eat. I broke down and started taking cough medicine for my cough. I have like, I only had one kind in my cough in my... I only had one kind, and it's um, something DM, which is supposed to loosen phlegm and thin it out so that you can cough it up. It doesn't actually work that much, that well. It's not very strong, but whatever. I think this is the first time I've taken cough medicine in like 20 years. Speaking of health, Sophie's going to the doctor today. She has an appointment, remember last year when, so last year in September she had a fall, like a year, I don't know. It's been almost two years. Three. No, my, I, don't, I don't know. Anyways, I think two years ago she had a fall and it landed straight on her head and her head supported her whole, and her head and her neck supported her whole body. She had like, we went to the hospital, they didn't really do anything there. She had a bunch of um, health issues after that, which led us to have a CT scan and an MRI and it showed that her sinus cavity, which was damaged in the fall, got completely obliterate, obliterated, which is what the doctor said. It was squished together so no fluid could get out and she had a ton of fluid in there. And so we tried some antibiotics and <coughs> he wanted her to see an ear, nose and throat specialist because she has headaches. So it's the headaches that we've been going to the doctor for. So anyway, a full year later, she finally got an appointment at the ear, nose and throat specialist and that is today, but you're mostly better. Are you mostly better from that fall? Like two years. Mm -hmm. She also takes other medicine because it, we discovered that she has a thyroid issue and she has an empty cella. So, <coughs> those are problems like that she'll she'll have her whole life. Do you still have headaches? Yeah, I have one right now. Yeah. So, anyways, they're gonna go and they're gonna check that out. It's possible that she damaged her sinus cavity when she fell. Like she she smashed. She did you land on your nose? She landed on her head, her you eye. Caught it on camera. I'm mad at you. I know. She, I know. Every my kids love to see their falls on camera, on film after. And I was talking. Most mad about your mom. 
She doesn't catch my falls on camera. Yeah, so my kids are like get upset when I don't catch their falls. Other people don't like to see their falls and then they get upset when I catch the girls' falls on camera. It's the weirdest thing. Well, cause that would've been an interesting fall to see. Yeah, it was, it was horrifying for me. Like Sam and I were the only ones in the arena with her and maybe Gabby was on a horse. And we both flew out of our seat. We're like, stay down, stay down, don't get up. Well, then, I landed and then I sat up and I saw two visions and I heard, lay down. And I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll listen. Yeah, and we made her lay there until the ambulance came because like her face started swelling right after she fell. My nose fell. is crooked now. Feel it. Yeah, and so her nose is crooked and she has a bump. So anyway, she's going to go and get that checked out today. Maybe we'll get some other an answers, but probably she's going to have like that as an issue for her whole life, too. All right, are you ready to rock and roll, sister? Let's go. Oh, you got to dump her bucket. There's hay in there. I know, she put hay in there. Close those doors. And she just goes right out. Close those doors. She's fine. I'm not catching hay. Come on. I really hope she goes over there. Come on, baby girl. No, she loves to go outside in the morning. Get out. Uh-oh. Stop it. Go out. in. Good job, Molly. You stay there. All right. Last one out. And he is looking so cute. He looks he's so, ugly. he's so much cuter than when he came. He's so clean now. Posey's cute. That one's ugly. Posey's cute too. Come on. Get out there before the goats try and come in. Get out there. Get him, Molly. Get out. No, don't get him, Molly. Close the door, Sophie. All right. Woo, oh, everyone's yeah. out. All right, have fun, you guys. I'll be back in about an hour, an hour and a half. Check on everybody. Make sure everybody's safe. But we are back to normal. Boys in the boy pen. Winston's like, what happened? I don't understand this. And Ziggy's like, I don't understand this either. I really enjoyed that time with the girls. I would say Blossom is for sure not bred. She wouldn't even let him near her. The one that got pregnant first last year. And I think, I have no idea about the other two. It's not for them and not wanting to be bred. It's for him being short if they're not bred. So how you tell? if they were bred is if they come back into heat. So three weeks from now, I'll shove them back in there, probably in two weeks, shove them back in there, see what happens. Whoever comes back into heat wasn't bred. So cross your fingers and wish Sophie luck today because she does not love going to the doctor. It looks like our ducks are getting along together. But I think like the thing that I really have to do is open this up at night and let that chicken or the new duck get used to all the chickens because I think it's the chickens that scare her the most. But so far everybody seems happy. Well actually they don't seem happy. See that little girl in the corner? She's just a bob in her head. They all just came running in when they heard me because they thought I brought snacks. But what's interesting is that they're like on a laying strike. There's been hardly any eggs since I locked this thing up. This is where the chickens lay their eggs. Everybody's unhappy. They don't like to be locked out, apparently. Oh, the, look, there's food over there. Go get food over there. Grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. Everybody wants everybody else's food. Ducks, for sure, are not the happiest they've ever been. They love being free-ranging, and I want to do it again soon, but I have to wait for her to... I have to wait for her to bond with the chicken, or with the ducks at least, so that she knows what to do and she can follow them. It's funny watching them though, because the one little girl is telling the boy what to do. She's bossy. See how bossy she got? Waffles? She got so bossy. Listen, go away, turkey. <laughs> Everybody wants in with the ducks. You guys gotta feel a turkey though. Like there's something to it. Like they feel amazing. They're so big and so fluffy and I just, just rubbing them is just like amazing. Mama and babies are doing good too. It was noisy in here. That duck is not happy. But mama and babies are doing good. That mama is not happy. <laughs> she doesn't like to be locked up. She likes to She likes to sleep with the goats. But it's safer in here for her and her babies. No one is happy in the coop today, guys. I don't even see a single egg hatch today. Look at how cute Ellie looks. Sit. 
I did her hair in like a puppy clip and I love it. I thought I would hate it. I always wanted her to have long hair. Stay. All right, she's a little muddy. But I... Okay, hold on. Come here. I have to pick her up so you guys can see her. Hold on. Okay, look. Look, Ellie, show them your face. Oh my gosh. Look. <laughs> Ew, what is all over you? Look. Look, Ellie. Just sit still for a minute. Yeah, she's a bit on the hyper side. But I want them to see your cute face. Do you guys see it? <laughs> when she's just sitting there doing nothing, she looks so cute. Got you a nice leaf. Thanks. I love it. It's fluorescent. I'll keep it forever. It is fluorescent. Holy moly. And it's like silky. It's like fake. It's fake. No, it's real. It's it? fake. Is that a fake? <laughs> That's why I look so good. <laughs> I thought it came from that. <coughs> there's a tree. There's a tree down there that's got some red leaves. <coughs> fake one. <coughs> so you, brought, you brought in a fake tree and you dropped one. Yeah. So see on the bottom there, you can see the plastic. It's plastic and it's like. It's like <coughs> soft. So, uh, so we went to the doctor this morning, I told you. It all went, went really well. She went to an ear, nose, and throat specialist. And he <laughs> stuck a camera up her nose. She wasn't expecting that. She wasn't happy about it. And it went like way up and all around. He looked all around there. And he said that the injury that she had a year ago, it was only a year ago. So if he's like, it's three years ago, well, maybe two years ago, it was a year ago in August. And he said that the injury is not what caused the damage to her nose, which I don't know because it's her sinus that's plugged is right where her, her nose is dented in now from that injury. But anyway, he said that the, he looked at her CT scan and said that the problem with her nose is separate from the problem with her headaches. So they're not related and that the problem with her nose, her sinus being smushed and full of fluid is because Sophie has allergies. And he saw that by looking up her nose, he could see like she has allergies and we had no idea she had allergies. It makes me wonder how many of us are all walking around with allergies. So the doctor said like, do you guys have any animals? <coughs> and Tim said like, we live on a farm, we have every animal. So he recommended that she do this nasal aspirator thing, the thing she's gonna shoot up her nose and then that should help her with her nasal problems but yeah it's funny all the things that you figure out when you have like an accident or you get hurt um we still haven't got to the end of the headaches but what he did say about the headaches is that he suspects and i suspect as well is that because her headaches have gotten better over this last few months is that he suspects that it was post concussion syndrome so i do think that too like and it lasted a long time so he thinks that just like the damage that her concussion caused it caused all these headaches and all this stuff <laughs> she's smart <laughs> everything is wet because it rained it's been raining for days they were all over there and then, then they stuck yeah so as soon as they saw sam closing off the gate there penny came running around and then he had to try and run and close the gate and it's slippery in the mud when you're wearing crocs hot uh -huh, penny pickle so the, the new normal on the day by day farm is that the horses go through a bale a week now a bale a week last year it was a bale every three weeks now they're a bale a week storm's like let me in I'll get those little dogs. They all know what's happening. Penny's like, I'll be the first one. You know, you never put a lid on this thing. I know. No, I never did that. So uh, the ear, nose, and throat specialist wants her to see another doctor. <coughs> so uh, back to the drawing board. I think she's almost at the end of it though. Like, I think she probably does have allergies and just mild allergies because she doesn't complain about them. So I think, um, she definitely had post-concussion syndrome. Lucky that's over with. Um, and she probably just needs like a little bit more time. All right, well, let's stick this bag on here. You want me to peel the thing off? I need my own knife. I need a nice, cute pink knife. I'll take it. I know, it's so nice. I want a pink one. You can probably get it on Amazon. 
All right, I do not need a knife. I just had an injury trying to cut with his knife. You have to use two hands to cut that. Get you a butter knife. No, I want a proper knife that actually has some, some that can actually cut. That thing doesn't even cut. That's embarrassing, Sam. You have an embarrassing, uh-oh. Stop. Listen, we have a horse show in a couple of days. You better chill out right now. Oh my gosh. I might be going crazy You're saying on repeat, I'm a radio You're saying on repeat, I'm a radio Now you've been away for so long And I'll be fighting feelings so strong You're saying on repeat, I'm a radio You're saying on repeat, I'm a radio I need to get out You're all I think about My head in the clouds With you I was bouncing I just caught Ellie out there chasing them. So uh, there are already some this holes in here. Push this. Can you pull the, pull that? Oh. Uh, uh, well, no. This is gonna have to be good. All right. That's good. All right. I'm going out with the dogs before we let them in. Penny should come in first because she's the best behaved. I'm telling you right now, if I get another infection in my finger, I'm done this year. I'll be done it. Like, that'll be three things. <coughs> Two infections in my finger and a cold. That's enough for anybody for a year. Come on, you mud, mud monster. Come on, Ellie. You guys look at her. Oh my gosh. All right, best behaved girls first. Go slow, it's muddy. Uh-oh, this is gonna be worrisome. All right, I'm getting in the safe zone. She's like, ha ha, I got here first. <laughs> you think they'd be smarter though and that they would go to where Penny was. <coughs> All right, go slow. Go slow. They don't want to. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, she looks pretty. Here comes the tail end. Chill out in the mud. Little piggy boy made his way to the to the barn. He's like, I hear you all out there. This is honey, nothing scares her. Come on, Ellie. In the barn. Stay in the safe zone. So the rain is supposed to stop today and then we can get everybody brushed, freshened up. But here we go. Another week. Some more food. Uh-oh, don't get trampled because you're scaring them with that. Oh, this horse tried to attack me. Honey does not like Sam. Isn't that weird? He's never been mean to her a single day in his life. He's only kind to her and she hates him. Always bites me. The first time she, when she was younger and she tried to nibble us, every single one of us said, don't you dare do that. And she said, okay, don't worry, I won't. But Sam never says no. So uh, we are headed into the bath again. <laughs> Honestly, look at her. She's pure mud, and it's not just mud, it's like poop and mud. And I have to carry her to the bath. There you go. That's what she looks like. <coughs> pure mud. 